Hi, today I'll be explaining how to do some advanced warlock movement tech in order to go much faster when moving around in the game. Firstly, let's talk about the transversive steps exotic boots. These will give you about 7.5% faster movement speed while sprinting, which is definitely noticeable, but is not required if you don't have them. Also, while we're talking about boots, if you're playing on a controller, consider putting the traction mod on your boots which will grant you a tighter turn radius while sprinting. Now this does not make a noticeable difference on mouse and keyboard, but I have heard that it does help on controller. Now I'll explain Icarus Dashing. Icarus Dashing is a good way to gain a bunch of speed or maintain speed when you're already moving quickly. To do this, you'll need to jump, activate glide midair, immediately dash after that first glide, glide out of your dash, and then immediately dash again afterwards. After performing this combo, you can activate glide once more to float down to the ground and then start jumping once you touch the ground and kind of skip like a rock. This can be paired with other things, which I'll go over very shortly. So the first thing that you can pair Icarus Dash with, or even just use on its own, is using the scroll wheel if you're on mouse and keyboard as an extra jump button. So to do this, you'll need to go into your settings and add a secondary keybind to jump, being scroll wheel up or scroll wheel down. Once you have that set up, you can just, as you're running around, scroll the scroll wheel enough times so that it will activate and deactivate your jump and use them all up. This will give you a big boost of momentum and can be done just when you're running or you can do it as you touch the ground after an Icarus dash to conserve your momentum. Next, I'll go over sparrow flicking. Sparrow flicking is a form of advanced sparrow movement tech, which I'll have a link to another video on in the description. And this can be paired with Icarus dashing as well as your scroll wheel jump. So what you'll want to do is perform a sparrow flick, and then out of that, activate your glide and do the Icarus dash combo which will give you a ton of speed, which can also be conserved by using your scroll wheel jumps afterwards, and then Icarus dashing again once it recharges. Lastly, I'll go over sword skating, which is another way to gain some speed without using a sparrow. To do this, you'll just need a sword, and we'll have to do these steps. First, jump, swing your sword, and then mid-swing switch weapons, which will conserve the momentum of the swing, and then you can either glide out of that or glide and do an Icarus dash combo. You can also scroll wheel jump afterwards to conserve speed as well. Using Lament's charge swings can also help to give some extra speed when compared to a normal sword, but is not required. All these methods can be mix and match with each other in order to give you a greater amount of speed while moving around in the game. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.